Hey, you know what? I'm a guy who watches movies. Usually I'm talking about things like this, swords and weapons and history and this kind of stuff, but I watch movies like anyone else. And this, for warning for regular viewers of my channel, this is, this is going to be an off-topic tangent. But I'm getting really, really tired of modern Hollywood, the modern movie industry, picking up um, much-loved movie franchises from the 70s, 80s, possibly even 90s, yes, I guess the 90s with Jurassic Park and stuff as well, and basically shitting all over their memory by trying to revive them, trying for a quick buck to make some money, and admittedly they do make money out of it, but basically ruining the memory and ruining the franchise in the process. And you know, there's been a lot said about Star Wars recently for obvious reasons. We're just about to get the rise of Skywalker or the, Ray, uh, the rise of Ray the Magnificent, uh, as it probably should be called um, and I've been following a lot of the channels that have been um, uh, kind of following the leaks or revealing the leaks that have been coming out of uh, the previews and the <coughs> actually Lucasfilm themselves whether these leaks are, are all factual whether they're all correct we know some of them are now uh, from the trailers that have come out and the trailers have confirmed some of the stuff that we've actually uh, had from the leaks from Star Wars uh, from uh, the rise of Skywalker and you know I, I, I love um, I love Rogue One, for example, and you know The Force Awakens was okay, it was tolerable. The Last Jedi was a complete dumpster fire, and it was also an interesting kind of anthropological study in how the people who the kind of the fans who went, hold on, come out of the movie theater, what have I just seen? You know, they're kind of looking at it. Yeah, I can see all I can see a lot of the Star Wars things I love here, and they come out at the end and think there's something wrong with this and the more time that this movie settled in, I certainly had this with The Last Jedi, the more time that passed and then with subsequent viewings you started seeing more and more and more that was wrong with it and you realised it's a terrible, terrible movie. It has some little good, you know, glints in it, um, some glints of what we love of Star Wars but it's a terrible, terrible movie and all of the... Um, all of the all of the evidence that we've got to go on so far suggests that the rise of Skywalker is gonna destroy Star Wars and you know the Mandalorian might be keeping the Star Wars end up so to speak but as far as we can tell the kind of the trilogy ethos uh, of big movies is probably dead for Star Wars after the rise of Skywalker comes out if it's as much of a dumpster fire as it appears like it's going to be. Of course, I'll pay to go to watch it uh, because, you know, a bit like voting, I think if you want to have the right to complain about a political party, you have to vote. And uh, I kind of feel like if I want to really rant about what a mess that they've made of um, Star Wars in the latest trilogy, in the Skywalker trilogy, um, then I have to see it. But the thing that really inspired me to get in front of my camera and make this video was I've just seen the trailer for Ghostbusters 3. Um, now, Ghostbusters 3, did it need to be made? Well, actually, well, obviously not. Ghostbusters 1 and 2 were great. Um, I won't talk about the kind of the other kind of reboot that was done because I haven't seen it, okay? I heard bad things about it, so I never bo bothered watching it. But Ghostbusters 3, I watched this trailer and to begin with, I was thinking, like, yeah, new Ghostbusters movie, Paul Rudd. I quite like Paul Rudd. Oh, it's got that kid um, from that Netflix series I like, um, <laughs> Stranger Things. And uh, I kind of thought, yeah, 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 as I watched it. I watched it. This, this is strangely familiar, okay? I, I, I'd be interested to know what someone like Doomcock, if you don't know who Doomcock is, look him up. Uh, a good YouTuber doing a lot of videos about the latest um, Star Wars leaks, incidentally. But I'd be very curious to know... Doomcock's views on this and Doomcock contact me if you uh, if you want to talk about this but um, I thought this is very familiar this this Ghostbusters 3 trailer what does it remind me of holy shit they've remade they have remade The Force Awakens they've looked at The Force Awakens and thought yeah that's how to make a movie we're gonna do The Force Awakens like The Force Awakens reenactment but instead of with all the Star Wars outfits and Star Wars stuff we're gonna do it with Ghostbusters and we're gonna get not the Millennium Falcon we're gonna get the Ghostbusters car uh, not the lightsaber in a box it's gonna be one of those ghost traps we're gonna do all of these things we're gonna get a new cast of young people and then we're gonna get cameos on from the just enough of the old stuff that people loved so that they'll pay money to come to the movie theaters and watch this hoping for a, a genuine new Ghostbusters movie which I predict they won't get I might be wrong I might be wrong but 
So Hollywood, please stop doing this over and over and over again. Get some new ideas. There, there are, there are millions probably, but certainly thousands of books out there which deserve to have movies made of them. There are great, you know, book franchises, series that can be converted into movies. There are great stories waiting to be told. Stop rehashing or trying to rehash the glory of bygone franchises, which were great in their time and are still great now. Leave Ghostbusters, leave Jurassic Park, leave Star Wars, Star Trek, leave everything where it was. It was great. That was good. Do something new. For the love of God, do something new. Stop wrecking my childhood memories. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, a shout out to Doomcock as, uh, Doomcock as well. Don't go and check his uh, uh, channel out. It has been causing me a lot of amusement in the build-up to Star Wars. Um, and uh, I will see you soon with a more um, a, a topic more normal to my channel related to bladed weapons or history or um, something like that. Uh, cheers for watching. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. We've got extra videos on Patreon. Please give our Facebook a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, folks.